Hi guys, thanks for tuning in today. I thought I'd do a video because one, I haven't done one in forever. Two, I have no kids because the dad took them away so I have like peace and quiet. And three, because most importantly I had my neuro appointment on Friday and I thought I would give you guys an update and let you know what sort of things he said and hopefully that'll help you if you've got any appointments coming up. So here we go, let's get on with it. Okay, so neuro appointment, things that I, I never look forward to them because generally when I have one I end up having like symptoms afterwards. But um, the first thing I've noticed recently is I've joined loads of Instagram, followed lots of Instagram things and people talk about different symptoms they're having and I didn't realise that some of them were MS symptoms. So I've kind of gone, oh, I didn't realise that was an MS symptom. I have that. So um, I've been writing them all down with my little log book so I thought I'd talk through some of those because like me you might be going oh I didn't realise that was an thing. So first one, excuse the explanations on some of these, you probably know yourself it's quite hard to explain some of them. So first one is jelly like internal legs so not the external legs but when you're walking along and like it feels like the middle of your leg feels a little bit wobbly so that's something. I should mention these are all on and off symptoms so they're not relapses Okay, they're just things that kind of come and go. So yeah, jelly-like legs, brain fog, which I'm sure you're well familiar with. I have that quite a lot, but along with brain fog, which I didn't realise was a thing, was that I quite often struggle to get my words out. So if someone asks me something, I'm just kind of like, eh. Um, and that's all part of it. I didn't realise that was a symptom, but it is. So that's something I have on and off. Um, sun fatigue, which I'm trying to combat. I'm trying to do more exercise. It's getting lighter. The spring is coming. Um, so I've been swimming this morning. I haven't been swimming for like 15 years or something, but I really enjoyed it. And yesterday I went for a run. I've just done yoga. So come on, getting back into exercise. Really good. Um, as you probably know from... A previous video, numb left side of face, horribly scary, didn't like that one. The weird one I had the other day is uh, I was at work and I was taking minutes and I just suddenly felt really lightheaded, like I was kind of out of body, it was really weird. But that's a new thing for me, but it only lasted like a few minutes and then went again. I've had it on and off, but not lots. Um, some blurriness, this eye doesn't go blurry but it kind of feels like a little bit slower or like you've got something stuck in your eyelashes or something. But yeah, I have that every now and again. And itching, Ugh, itching, I've never had itching. I've heard about itching, but I literally woke up the other night and I just couldn't stop scratching my legs to be fair. I actually made them bleed a bit because it was just so bad. I had to like cool them down, plaster loads of lotion on to try and stop itching. So that wasn't nice. But, I am digressing, kind of. So those are symptoms that you might have not realised were an MS thing like me. When I went and talked to my neurologist, I sort of went, right, this is what's happening, I didn't realise these were symptoms, but here's my list, and he went, yeah, they're symptoms. And I was like, well, what does that mean? And he goes, yeah, they're just symptoms. You don't have to worry about them because they're not carrying on for a long time. But they're just things that we, in the community of MS, will have on and off because they're just symptoms of MS. Like, great. So that's just stuff that you just kind of have to live with and go, oh yeah, it's an MS thing, it's fine. So, carry on, he did the usual tests. Touch my finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, touch my nose, push, pull, push on your legs. Um, that scratchy thing on your feet which really hurts. But my friend explained this to me because I didn't know why they did it. But apparently, if you have MS and they do the scratchy thing, most, like people without MS, their toes will curl in, but if you have MS, your toes flay out, like like that. Um, so that's why they do that, but it's like, I don't know why they do it every time, because you're like, you know I have MS, so why are you doing this? Um, usually on the reflex things, he tells me that they're exaggerated, but he didn't last time, so oh, that's exciting. Uh, my walking in the line was fine, he's quite happy with that. Um, so that was all good, and then we looked at the MRI scan, and I have three on my brain, um, two little ones and a bigger one and then one on my neck which I'm going to call Les, Les the lesion because um, he's quite big um, so yeah he's just on my, on my neck up there. 
we talked through that. The annoying thing was that I had an MRI scan in 2019 when I started Avanex again after having kids. Um, and when he was talking through the events, he's like, so this is the baseline from 2018. I was like, but I had one last year. And I went, where did you have it? It's like the other hospital. Oh, oh I've not seen that. What are you supposed to say? So you've just talked me through results that are two years old. So I don't know. Like he was like, you've not got many lesions and that's good because four, apparently if anything under 10 is good and it's mild MS. So I'm really happy with that. But I may have more now that I don't know about because the last results were 2018. So quite cross about that, but I'm going with, I've had one relapse in that time and it's before I started Avonex. So if anything, it's either gonna be, it was the same symptom I always get, the numbness that starts in the and goes up. The only thing is, one of them, like Liz, maybe just playing up again, or I might have another one. Hopefully, it won't be more than that. So I'm, I'm living in hope that it's not bad, but I have my MS nurse appointment in April. Can't stand the guy, um, but I have that. So I'll ask to see my scan and then compare, because I took a video of my scan um, to show where the lesions are and a photo and so I'll be able to do their job for them basically and look and see if there's any more so yeah so that's the update so my tips for your appointment is take your log because my own neurologist didn't see in my notes when I had started Avanex again he didn't know I'd had an MRI and if you don't have it to hand when these things happened or any symptoms or any relapses because they like to know how long symptoms have gone on for and things so write it all down and take it with you otherwise you get the appointment and it's just a waste of time um so definitely do that if you have any questions about it write those down so you remember to ask them um if they're doing tests and you don't understand why they're doing ask them as well um you know just be a bit more pushy and a bit more inquisitive because you know they don't actually ever really explain why they're doing these things um, and try and take away the bits that are reassuring. So for me, it was the fact that I didn't have many lesions and apparently that's quite mild. So I'm taking that away and holding on to it because symptoms apparently are just symptoms that we live with. So there we go. I hope that helped. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't done a video in a while. I'll try and do like another foodie one. If you want to if you ask me if there's something that you want me to talk about, please leave a comment and uh, I'll do a video on that. I kind of struggle to think of what to to do videos on half the time um so yeah just ask leave a comment and if it's you're enjoying the videos please do it's that way subscribe below and i will hopefully see you more often so hope you're all having great days wherever you are or you've had a good day and i will see you all soon